This week, I'm chatting with my friend Jessica Heights about boudoir photography. I love that boudoir sessions have become more and more popular over the years, and most women are feeling empowered by booking these sessions, whether they're for their partner, for themselves, celebrating some milestone in their life or something that they've overcome. I myself have only done one boudoir shoot in my life, but after this conversation, I definitely need to get on booking my next one. It is such a cool and empowering experience, and I think every person should do a shoot like this if they want to. Jessica started her own photography business back in 2010. A few years later, in 2014, she did her own boudoir session at Blush Studio here in Dayton, Ohio, and just two years after that, in 2016, she joined their team and became one of their photographers. She loved the boudoir session so much. Jessica does stunning work. If nothing else, you need to head to her Instagram because it is beautiful. Jessica knows how it feels to go through a boudoir session, to be a little nervous in the beginning, and she knows exactly how to walk her clients through feeling comfortable during this experience because she also knows that after these sessions, women tend to feel so empowered and encouraged and inspired to just be this different version of themselves that they were able to unlock during their boudoir session. So if you're at all curious, about doing your own boudoir session, please listen to this episode. I think you will get the encouragement you need to go ahead and book that session. I hope you enjoy this conversation. Hi, Jessica. Welcome to the Good Hearted Podcast. Thank you so, so much for being here with me today. I would love to just jump right in and talk about how you got started with boudoir and why you decided to start doing those kinds of photo sessions. Well, I have been... Uh, I guess a boudoir photographer for over six years now. Mm -hmm. And uh, my husband and I had our first session together uh, at Blush Boudoir and I enjoyed it. Uh, I I just really had a lot of fun with my husband there and Tracy, the owner, made it really comfortable and easy and everything Mm -hmm. like that. So I just kind of fell in love with it then more so. Uh, I guess always when I was younger, I took self portraits of myself, mm-hmm. uh, kind of like in scandalous kind of boudoir ways. Yeah. Um, so I think that was like my intro into it all. And it kind of digressed to women and getting them in front of my camera and all that fun stuff. That's awesome. So what made you decide to do one with your husband? Because I know people do those kinds of shoots, but I don't know that a lot of people talk about it. (laughs) Uh, It was actually um, for our third year wedding anniversary. Mm -hmm. And each year we tried to go with like the traditional gifts Mm -hmm. So for third year, it was like leather and he didn't need like a new belt or a wallet or anything like that. So we just decided to do like a leather album and uh, we wanted to do like boudoir pictures to go into the album. So luckily he was a good sport with it and he didn't really, he didn't tell me no or anything. So he just kind of went along and made it happen. (laughs) That's so cool. And honestly, I feel like that can add some spice to the relationship, right? Like rekindle oh, sure. that flame a little bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and those portraits are always so beautiful. And so it's awesome that Tracy made you guys feel so comfortable and like it was an easy, you know, good experience. Because yes. uh, I know some people, it can be a little nerve wracking to go in and do something like that. Oh, 100%. And it's, I mean... I still think anytime I've even gotten in front of the camera uh, after that, it's still a little nerve wracking and, Mm -hmm. you know, making sure that your body looks the way you may want it to. Mm -hmm. And and then luckily when you're in the hair and makeup and getting all dolled up that you get like a little glass of champagne or wine to kind of (laughs) help ease everything. And uh, Mm -hmm. the people that are working on you in the hair, uh, on the hair and makeup are like just all hype and super excited. Mm-hmm. So they kind of get you happy and like pumped really up. energetic yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, for what's about mm-hmm. to happen. Yes. Well, because I feel like you do need kind of that confidence boost, right? Like going right into it. Um, I've only ever done one and it was right before my wedding, which I feel like lots of women do that. Like if they're going to do one, it's before their wedding. And I knew the photographer, I was very comfortable, but it was still like, oh my gosh, I'm going to get half naked in front of this girl. Like, right. um, Yeah. So I could have used some champagne. That's for sure. (laughs) 
And I feel like that probably just like loosens people up a little bit too. Oh, like, for sure. We don't want them to get intoxicated. They're only allowed <laughs> to have one glass. Yeah. So we don't want any like, you know, droopy eyes or anything like that. We right. just want them to get them a little less nervous. <laughs> yes. You've been doing boudoir for a while now. How has your experience evolved? I definitely say I'm more comfortable with myself now. So mm-hmm. uh, like before I would obviously do the poses for um, our clients Mm-hmm. Uh, to kind of show them what to do. But now I'm a little more, I guess, emotive with my mm-hmm. posing and how I want their face to be and the breathing mm-hmm. techniques I want them to use and do. Um, so it looks like they're alive and breathing. Um, and mm-hmm. then like maybe hand placements where it'll be like a little more um on the super sensual side as opposed to just like mm-hmm. pretty. So I have definitely yeah, evolved yeah. that way and gotten more comfortable with how to uh, pose women on anything that kind of makes it more like sexy versus sweet. Yes. Cause I'm sure it's natural to do that. Like sweet. pose mm-hmm. At first now I can't <laughs> um, even do the sweet at all. <laughs> like someone comes yeah, in right? with like, like, so I was thinking like soft and sweet and I'm like, okay, I will try my hardest, but I'm all yeah, about right. like that dark, moody, like sensual. Mm. And it's like, okay, it's like, here we go. Yeah, <laughs> right. But I love that. It's so beautiful. And I didn't even think about like breathing techniques and stuff like that. Like I, oh yeah, and how the placement of hands and stuff can make such a difference, but it's so true. Like mm-hmm. I, I just never would have thought of that. It's like a science almost like that. You're kind of walking your clients oh, for through. Sure. It's like, cause we don't want anyone to have RBF or anything yes. like that. And I yeah. want, you know, them to look like they're enjoying themselves or mm-hmm. I want them to look like they're still breathing and alive. Cause yeah. a lot of women, they just kind of like, just hold in their mm-hmm. breath and don't breathe. And like, you yeah. need to breathe for me because I can tell yes. that you're not breathing and it's not translating right, correctly right. for pictures. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure it just looks like stiff and kind of guarded. And I mean, oh, yeah. I've seen your work and I'll definitely link it, but it's like, it does seem kind of effortless, but like mm-hmm. very sexy and, but just like they're caught in this beautiful moment, you know? Right. And I know at Blush, you guys have like the bedrooms that are all decorated and they're gorgeous and you have all the pretty window light. And so I'm sure your clients just feel like they get star treatment when they go there. I know you talked about getting people dolled up. We get some champagne. We're like feeling good. How do you talk with people through the session and like kind of keep their confidence up or maybe take their mind off of, you know, any, any issues that they're having, like with being self-conscious? When I first get in there, I, uh, a lot of our clients will bring their own outfits And then uh, I'll look through all of the outfits and Mm -hmm. decide which ones will photograph the best, which ones will work um, good on the client's body, Mm -hmm. what will showcase what they love most about themselves. Mm -hmm. If they have an amazing booty, I definitely want to show that off. If Mm -hmm. they have great cleavage, I'm going to show that off. Um, Mm -hmm. So I just kind of work with them. And if I'm not a huge fan of some of the stuff that they brought, we can also pull Mm -hmm. from our client closet and we have an array of sizes so I can uh, Mm -hmm. make sure I grab a size that is appropriate for them and will look amazing on them. Mm -hmm. Uh, And then throughout the whole shoot, I just keep on like saying, you know, something's good or it's perfect. And Mm -hmm. uh, I'll even show them like what they're doing like from the back of the camera so they can kind of see oh. what it looks like from uh, my point of view. Cause I know a lot of the times they think mm-hmm. that they probably look pretty dumb. It's like, Nope, it doesn't look dumb yeah, at all from right. my angle. Like it looks amazing. And then a lot of the mm-hmm. times after I show right. them like what they look like, they're like super excited to mm-hmm. continue and you can just see mm-hmm. their mindset completely change. And if they're too Mm, negative on themselves, I have like a limit on how often they can do that before I make them say five positive things about their body before we can continue. Yes, I love that. I love that. There's nothing worse than being like negative when you're there to do something positive for yourself. So we just kind of want to keep that positive mentality um, throughout the whole Mm. shoot and not want them to leave, you know, feeling sad or like maybe I shouldn't have done that or anything like mm-hmm. that. So 
and I never say anything that I don't mean. So I'm, I always find something gorgeous or perfect about each client, uh, whether that's like their amazing mm-hmm. jawline, their full lips, their cute little nose, amazing mm-hmm. eyebrows, something. I can always mm-hmm. pinpoint something that I love about them. And I try to showcase mm-hmm. that a lot in some of their images as well. So they also can mm. see what other people possibly see and think is an amazing yeah. appearance on them. I love that too. And even like mentioning some of the facial features, like that can be sexy as hell. And like, oh, yeah. it, you know, and it doesn't always like, cause me, I'm like, I have a pancake booty. Like I feel like my booty is not cute at all. So like, that's something that would hold me back because your booty pictures are so good. They are hey. so, so good. <laughs> and a lot of those, sometimes some of those women have pancake booties. It's all about, <laughs> they are so sore the next day after I'm done mm, with them. Mm-hmm. They are arching their back and sticking out their booty as far as they can go. So a so lot of those secret. women. I love it. Yes. Yes. It's the certain leg that you have to bend and you just have to really push it out there. Mm. And then all the angles too. So yeah, that's so true. Mm -hmm. Uh, Because like you said, because I'm thinking when you're talking about showing them kind of the back of your camera, you know, I think of like when I look at myself in the mirror when I'm naked or whatever, and I'm like, "Mm, that's not very cute, but you know what you're doing. So you Mm -hmm. can get at the right angle and get like a really flattering, amazing picture. And I'm sure that's an insane confidence boost while somebody's there to be like, oh, I oh, did not for sure. that back there. <laughs> yep, exactly. Because I mean, it's, yeah. and a lot of the times like uh, husbands don't necessarily know how to take like a really sexy picture of their mm-hmm. woman. Like mm-hmm. they don't know the correct angle or anything yes. like that. So it's like, yes. Mm-hmm. Don't do that. That's that's Mm-mm. not the appropriate angle on my booty. Right. Like yeah. not from there. It needs to be like mm-hmm. over on this side and maybe a little higher. Mm-hmm. So it's it's just something that I'm glad that I can. I know what angle or work uh best for the booty shots or even like mm-hmm. laying in bed or against the wall or something to kind of create the booty shot I want. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. So I think boudoir shoots are incredibly empowering, even though I was so young. (laughs) Um, But I'm still so proud of those. I love looking at them for myself sometimes, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you've obviously done your, uh, like had your own boudoir pictures taken as well. So talk to me about how they are empowering for women, because I feel like some people probably haven't had a shoot like that done and Mm -hmm. they should. (laughs) So let's talk about that a little bit. (laughs) Uh, Well, I think it's uh, empowering because you're seeing a different side of yourself that maybe you don't necessarily see. Uh, Mm -hmm. Instead of like being in front of the mirror and kind of tearing apart yourself, you can't Mm -hmm. really do that at the studio because we won't allow it for one. Mm -hmm. But two, I mean, you're uh, thinking of different things and we kind of like keep the shoot going. So you don't have like time to like sit and think, uh, and dwell or Mm -hmm. anything like that. So just, I mean, it's once they also see the images, I mean, they already feel Mm -hmm. like a badass. like once they leave the studio, cause they just feel like their hair is done, their makeup's done. Mm -hmm. They were just naked and they just feel like they can take on the world. Uh, And they were just like praised with compliments, like for the past, like Mm -hmm. three to four hours that, you know, they just, Mm -hmm. they're on like a whole new cloud. And a lot of, uh, I've even had some husbands like contact us and say that they can completely tell like a difference when their wife got home like after they were with wow. us. Like it was just a completely oh like gosh. 180 how it just they don't know like what we did, but you know, they're super thankful. <laughs> and that's even before they have seen no. any of the images. Um so then it's a completely wow. like new empowerment once they get to come back and see those images and they get to mm-hmm. relive the whole experience over again and they forget like some of the yeah. poses that they may have done or some of the outfits they may mm-hmm. have used because they were just kind of, you know, just going with the flow and seeing how it all worked. Right, and, right. And then some of the poses that we put you in, I mean, it's hard not to feel like a badass when you have your ass in the air and, you know, just someone's yes. like, you know, saying like, yes, that's an amazing booty. Keep it up. 
and I'll do right. like a little dance when I get really excited for some of my pictures. Oh. So, you know, just, it's fun to like, you know, keep it happy and, but also like mm-hmm. you know, just, and we have really good music that like sexy, soft music that'll play in the background to kind of mm. get them like a little the more mood. chilled out. And mm-hmm. Yeah. I love that. And your images are beautiful, but I, I feel like sometimes they're probably like, I don't even need the pictures because like the experience yeah. was so, so good. <laughs> and the pictures are like a plus because they yeah. feel so much better. And honestly, I feel like women are so bad about taking care of themselves that if they're with you, for three or four hours and Mm -hmm. like they have been so loved on and like poured into and just heard all of these positive things about their naked body. Like they probably feel like Superwoman after that. And especially like you said, you know, when you get out of the shower or whatever, you're at home and you know, your hair's looking whatever. And like, you just don't feel cute. Or even in super great lighting. I mean, normally in your bedroom with some like fluorescent lights and stuff like that. So you're not necessarily not looking cute. at yourself in the mirror at a cute mm-hmm. pose or anything. Yeah. So everybody needs an experience like this. I agree. At least once. I think every yeah. woman should have it at least once. Mm-hmm. When would you like suggest people should go do something like this? Well, I get we get a lot of clients that wish they did it when they were younger and had the body that mm-hmm. they wish they had at like the age of 40 or 50 or sometimes mm-hmm. even 30. Um, I've done it at like in my twenties and now also in my Mm thirties. Um, and I'm more muscular now than what I was in my twenties. And I'm a lot more Mm -hmm. confident now than what I was Mm -hmm. in my twenties. So I definitely think like third in your thirties or once you have found Mm -hmm. like, like, I guess a sexual awakening or something Mm -hmm. that you know that you're a badass and that you are a woman and you know, you you want these pictures for yourself. Uh, a lot of the times mm. we have them, um, we have women come in to do them for like their husbands or whatever. And they're like, I don't even know if he'll like these, but I'm doing mm-hmm. them I'm like do them for yourself. <laughs> like you don't need a man to validate yes. you and your sexiness. Like if he doesn't like mm-hmm. them, then well, you have the experience, you have these beautiful images and you can yes. admire yourself. You don't have to be ashamed of yes. you know, Hell yeah. admiring your hot body no. and, be like, that's my ass. Those are my boobs. And be all excited right? about it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. And honestly, I'm like, what man wouldn't like that? But oh, like, you should be doing it for yourself. Mm-hmm. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, I've heard God. horror stories. Not from, luckily, I haven't really heard any from our clients, but other boudoir photographers, mm-hmm. um, clients mm-hmm. have told them like their husband just like looked at them and just didn't care or like complained about the money that they oh spent or stuff like that. It's like, uh, you need to say thank you and be yes, thankful absolutely. that sh- they did something like this for you. Yeah, for sure. Like, are you serious? But the point is women should just do it for themselves because mm-hmm. of the experience you you can look at your own pictures later. Yeah. We have clients that look at their own pictures every day and like mm-hmm. relive the whole experience every single day mm-hmm. and you know feel amazing about it and feel all those good vibes and cuz we try mm-hmm. to be like everyone's cheerleader and yeah. um you know just kind of make everyone feel like they can do this cuz not ever I mean we don't have models coming in all the time even though mm-hmm. a lot of our clients think we do. They're all yeah. pretty much everyday women that you would see on the streets, mm-hmm. working, being a mom, all these things. Mm. And they need to be sexy and feel sexy too. It doesn't need to be, you yeah. know, just models or anything like that. Yeah. And I, I thank you for saying that because, you know, I follow Blush's stuff and your stuff. And I am like, man, these girls are gorgeous and I look nothing like them. I feel like people who aren't, you know, a size four or in the best shape of their life feel like they can't do this kind of experience because they don't have like their perfect body. Oh, and when you said, or when you were talking about the sexual awakening, I thought about like your props that you have at the the show. Oh yeah, our erotic props. (laughs) Yes. So you mentioned before, like some people come in asking for like soft and sweet, Mm -hmm. which isn't necessarily like your specialty anymore. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but like all the way to like being very erotic. So can you talk about like kind of 
how you serve those different kinds of people, depending on what they're into? Well, I like to start each session off with uh, more of the more clothed side. So um, if they mm-hmm. have like something that has like a cardigan or an oversized sweater, mm-hmm. uh, I like to start with that to kind of just ease them into the whole okay. experience. Because mm-hmm. not everyone is comfortable just getting naked right off the bat. So we just yeah. kind of let them ease into it. I'll take, you know, like a whole set like of just that outfit and then I'll have them okay. change. Um and then into something like maybe a uh, bra and underoos or mm-hmm. a bodysuit or something like that that accentuates mm. their body and makes them feel even more empowered. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I just kind of go from there and we get like a little sexier. And we've had a lot of clients that are not um, okay or they're not wanting to do any of the exotic stuff. So they don't want to mm-hmm. have like the sex swing or the spreader bar mm-hmm. or anything like that, which is completely fine. That is right. not everyone's cup of tea and we never push mm-hmm. that on anyone. And then we have some women that are like, I want all of that. Like, right. <laughs> let me have it all. I want yes. all of my pictures. So mm-hmm. it's just, we kind of, you know, read them. And I ask almost all of my clients if they're fine with getting naked at the very end. And mm-hmm. normally we can hide anything with sheets or to kind of mm-hmm. keep it a little more um, just not giving all the goods to the camera. So it's sure, really up to them. Yeah. And a lot of the times it's like a, a running joke that I just, I always can get almost all of my clients just down to their skivvies and they're just a okay <laughs> with it. It's like a lot of women come in like, yes, I, no, I love it. I didn't want to get naked today, but you ended up doing it. So I was like, <laughs> You're welcome. Right. <laughs> yeah, those are the favorite images where it's just mm. you and a white yeah. sheet. It's just they're mm. like sexy, but also just super simple and beautiful. So it's mm-hmm. you have no other place to go other than like your face or your body because um, you don't mm. have like any outfits on or any other props going on. So, yeah, I always have loved those. And I love that a lot of our other clients they love those as well to kind of, you know, mm. see themselves in a completely different light than they than they thought they ever would. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even think about coming in with like something that covered you up a little bit more. And then mm-hmm. as you go, you can like strip off the layers. Yep. Um, so that even would make, you know, me feel a little more comfortable. Like I don't have to get naked right away. Sure <laughs> you can kind of <laughs> ease into it. Uh, and then like you said, people can just kind of pick and choose like what they're comfortable with. So I feel like that just sounds like a very safe space for them to do whatever, you know, feels right in that moment. And, you know, maybe you'll talk them into getting totally naked. Yep. <laughs> Like, I love it's that. It's not for everyone, which is completely fine. I never yeah. push it. If they say no, I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. I will drop it. That is fine. Yeah. So I never want anyone to feel uncomfortable. And then I also never mm-hmm. like stare or anything like that. Right, I kind of right. Do my own thing when mm-hmm. they're like getting into the bed, into the pose that I yeah. like told them to what I wanted them to do before they get all down. <laughs> It's so funny because I've done some boudoir, but like mainly I did weddings and, you know, the bride strips down and gets in her dress and it was kind of the same thing where it's like, Mm -hmm. I'm not staring, but it's just, it's part of the job. Like it's just, it happens like, and to me, like I just never really thought of it, but probably other people who don't do things like that for a living, you know, don't think about it, you know, but. I've had a lot of clients like apologize for just walking around naked and I'm like, if I am offended by a naked body, this is not my line of work. <laughs> right? Seriously. <laughs> like, it's just a booty. It's no big yeah, deal. Yeah. <laughs> like, I have one. We all have nipples. Mm-hmm. I'm yes. not offended. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know, also, I'm thinking with the white sheet, I feel like that would almost be more comfortable than an outfit that's like, it, especially if it doesn't fit quite right. Like, it just sounds very freeing to have that kind of, you know, intimate pose and photograph later. So I really love that you do that. And you, that's a way for somebody to get those very sensual and sexy pictures without feeling like they are totally exposing themselves if they don't want to. Yep. Because I leave it up to everyone. I ask if anyone's okay with like showing nipples. Some are, Mm -hmm. some aren't. That's fine. We don't need to have them in any pictures if they don't want to. Mm -hmm. 
Right. Um, so we can always give that illusion, even if they don't want to be fully nude, we can always mm-hmm. give an illusion of them being fully nude. Yeah, If true. that's how they would rather go. I love that. So for somebody who wants to do a boudoir shoot, but they're mm-hmm. still a little nervous, like still kind of working on their body image and things like that, is there anything that they could do to just kind of like – build that confidence so that hopefully they could eventually book a session (laughs) trying to like give yourself like positive words of affirmation like Mm -hmm. throughout especially if you decide to do it we have a lot of clients that book it and then like the day or the week of they're like i don't know if i can do it but then they show up anyway it's like Mm -hmm. you can like we're here for you Mm -hmm. um and i think it does help we have a vip group um for women only that are Past clients will post some of their pictures from their shoe mm-hmm. and like their whole, like maybe their backstory of why they decided that they wanted to oh. do the shoot for themselves. Mm-hmm. And then a lot of our other uh, potential clients will read that and mm-hmm. uh, be like, oh, that's exactly like my story. Maybe I should do that as well. Or oh, like yeah. she went through the same stuff I've went through. I've been through a divorce or lost a child mm-hmm. or something like that. So to try and get, Mm -hmm. find themselves again, they will, Mm. I kind of put their faith into us and, you know, let us help with that whole experience. I love that. So that's really cool that you have a community where people can share those stories uh, because I feel like you're more likely to do something when you hear somebody else has done it, you know, and and you can relate to them. Mm -hmm. So for anybody who does want to do the shoot they're ready Mm -hmm. to go like would you do you have any kinds of like outfits or things like that that you would suggest somebody take oh no we love bodysuits bodysuits are Mm. our favorite things in the world Mm because a lot of the times we have a lot of women that are self-conscious about their stomach or Mm -hmm. they don't necessarily find like the correct bra size or Mm. something like that so a lot of the bras might like cut them uh too deep or Mm -hmm. uh sometimes the underoos don't fit uh Mm -hmm. correctly or they might be older because you know someone didn't want to get like bring a new pair or anything like that yeah yeah but we have so many bodysuits in our uh Mm. client closet and we can always pull from them and we always kind of like showcase a lot of the body suits like from uh, lots of different websites like uh, Torrid or Victoria's Secret mm. or For Love and Lemons. They just kind of like hug in the correct places where mm-hmm. we would want them to yeah. hug. So we always uh, definitely a nice body suit. We always suggest mm. that you don't even have to bring lingerie to us. It can be yeah. a white tank top and it like the cutest little jean shorts or pair Mm. of jeans that you just love that you feel Mm -hmm. sexy in and you feel good in. And we can, we can totally shoot you in that and make you feel amazing and pose you. And, you know, so it doesn't necessarily have to be lingerie of any kind, but we just really love That's so good to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And body suits are so flattering. I think like, because I've just recently started getting my own. I'm like, oh my God, I should have got these forever ago. Right. I thought the same thing. I'm like, can I just wear this at nighttime? Like without yeah. pants? Because <laughs> um, they are, they they do hug everything just about right. And like mm-hmm. most of the time you don't have to wear a bra with it. Yep. It covers up the stomach. Like, you know, so yeah, that was a great, great suggestion. And I wouldn't have even thought about like just an outfit that I felt sexy in that I'm sure you can like, crank up the sexy with it, you know, like, (laughs) like a white tank. Yeah. That's so easy. And like, yeah, we can just spray you down with water or maybe rip a little bit of it. Mm -hmm. You know, we can have fun with it. (laughs) Oh my gosh. That's so cool and creative. I love it. Uh, because I do think traditionally like, oh, I would have to go to Victoria's Secret and spend $300 Mm -hmm. on new lingerie on top of like this photo shoot and maybe not even be like comfortable or confident in it. So yeah, I love that. Thank you so much for sharing that because that is just like, like, (laughs) duh, but also I would have never thought of that. (laughs) Yeah, we do have, and I will say like one of my least favorite outfits Mm -hmm. is the baby doll. So like Mm -hmm. any of that baby doll uh, yeah. Type so where it's tight on the boobs and mm-hmm. then super flowy fabric hiding the stomach. 
a yeah. lot of our, our, a lot of our clients or just women in general feel like that's the most flattering. Like if it can hide mm. what they're most self-conscious mm-hmm. about and really yeah. it is not, it actually does the opposite, especially, uh, yeah. in camera. It actually adds a lot mm-hmm. more like width and girth and everything like that. Mm-hmm. So that's why we always suggest the bodysuit because it kind of hugs uh, the smallest yeah. the smallest place in the waist and then kind of goes out. So you mm-hmm. have that nice little hourglass shape as opposed to yeah. you're just one, you're just kind of like a rectangle. So I, yeah. I, yeah. I have someone bringing a baby doll and I'm like, I won't use this for these reasons, but I can pull yeah. like something from her mm-hmm. closet. Yeah, but that's so true because you think, oh, it's covering up my stomach, but really it's like kind of fluttering out probably. <laughs> like, oh, for sure. You know, making you seem bigger there than you actually are. So for anybody who's, you know, listened to this conversation, but they're still like a little bit nervous about doing it, do you have any kind of advice or things that you'd like to say to basically like just go be brave and book that session? Just kind of go be brave, book the session. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's, yeah. it's kind of like one of those things where um, you just have to kind of bite the bullet. Um, mm-hmm. A lot of the times it's they want to do it, but they don't have like the money right up front. Yeah. Um, and then we do offer payment plans if they don't, you know, have mm-hmm. the money right then. But then we just have a lot of people that like just save like every mm-hmm. month because this is what they want to do to, you yeah. know, to do it. And I I mean, it's just kind of one of those things where just you kind of have to get out of your comfort zone, comfort zone mm-hmm. and just kind of want to do it for yourself and not necessarily for yeah. anyone else other than yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like you said, when you're doing it for yourself, you don't have that pressure of worrying about whether or not somebody else is going to care what they look like or, you know, it doesn't matter because you're doing it for you. And mm-hmm. if your partner benefits from it, great. But like, that's not why we're doing this. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I say that a lot. Like, it's like, these are for you and mm-hmm. your partner can just enjoy them <laughs> right? afterward. <laughs> yes. It's like, they're, they're for you. You went through the whole yeah. experience. So you're mm-hmm. the one that got to have the most fun out of the whole thing. Yes. And you deserve it. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like everyone, especially after the year that everyone had last year, mm-hmm. everyone definitely deserves to treat themselves to a boudoir yes. shoot. And I, I would totally recommend like before you're a mom, do it too. Like if you're wanting to have kids, um, cause I told my friend the other day who's pregnant, I was like, take a picture of your boobs now. <laughs> they, <laughs> they might never be the same. Like, and you could just look at them later and be like, Oh my God, my boobs look so good. <laughs> it's like, I remember when. <laughs> Yes. Oh my gosh. Because I feel like that's my thing now is, you know, I got pancake butt, I got stretch marks on my stomach. Like my boobs are kind of deflated and have stretch marks. But even just through talking about this, I'm thinking like making mental notes of like, okay, well I could do this, this, and this to still Mm -hmm. make it an empowering and like confident session for me, even if I don't look anything like I did when I was 21 and had, right. you know, my first session done. And then luckily everyone does change like throughout all of their, you know, mm-hmm. seasons in life. Yeah. So we have a lot sure. of women that'll come back like every, you know, uh, we have a few that have come back like every few years Oh, or some yeah. not even do it like once a year because mm-hmm. it's just like an addiction for them. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then we have people that are like, I'm going to come back for like when I turn 50 and then again mm. when I turn 60. Because, mm-hmm. you know, their body's always changing and yeah. there's always something new, I guess, to fall in love with. Um, oh, yeah. Every, I guess, season of your life. So mm-hmm. it's not just can't really like dwell on the wrinkles or the crow's feet mm-hmm. or anything like that. The saggy boobies. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and again, if you're doing this shoot for yourself, you don't even have to show the pictures to anybody else if you don't want to. Exactly. You know? Like no and one like, doesn't even have to know that you took them. Mm-hmm. They can be your yeah. own little secret. If yes. you want to show a select few, more power to you. If you don't want to yeah. show anyone, that is also fine. It's you. It's like, you're going to remember that feeling when you look at those pictures. Yes. It's like, yeah, it's my favorite thing. Yeah. It's amazing. I'm like, okay, I need to actually do this now. 
it. <laughs> um, so Jessica, thank you so, so much for chatting with me today. I, I learned so much during this conversation and oh, yeah. And like I said, you know, I love what you do. I think you do an amazing job and it's just, it's such an important job to be empowering women in this way and helping them build their confidence and all that good stuff. So I would love for you you. to share, of course, I would love for you to share with everybody how they can connect with you. So I have my own um, boudoir Instagram and it's Jessica or at Jessica Blush Studio. Mm -hmm. And then the owner of Blush Boudoir um, is Blush Studio Life and she'll post or she'll share like so from me and from the other associate photographer that works there as well, okay. uh, as as well as her own stuff. And then uh, we have a Facebook VIP group that we allow women to join. Uh, no men are allowed in, so it's a safe space mm-hmm. uh, for women, and it's also a private group. So no one can just join. We have to make sure that they're a legit person and Mm -hmm. not like a spammy person. And that one is Blush Boudoir VIP on Facebook. And I'll definitely link all of that in the show notes too so that people can go right there. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Jessica. Again, I appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode. Be sure to connect with Jessica on her Instagram and then also join Blush's private group on Facebook. It really is a great community. After this conversation, she added me to it. And it's so nice to hear other women talk so positively about themselves, their bodies, and their experience doing their boudoir session. Jessica gave so many good tips and reminders to go easy on ourselves and to do some Something like this, even if we feel like our body isn't perfect. And I say that in air quotes, because no matter where you are on your body image journey, on your health journey, anything like that, you are worthy. And it is always a perfect time to document whatever season of life you are in. So whether you are single, in a relationship, going through something hard, or just came out of something hard, be willing to invest in yourself and do a session like this. I promise you will feel so empowered afterwards. I'll see you in my next video. 